Notion tips and tricks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to filter a database to display records for the current week and how to make the week that's displayed start on a Monday. For example, here is my habit tracker that I've created with a record for every day of the year. I want to have a quick filter that will show me the records for this week so I can keep track of my current progress. There are a few Notion weekly filters I can try. So if I add a filter for the date field and click add advanced filter, date is within the past week. This isn't showing the correct dates. I want the filter to display the dates from a Monday to Sunday. Another option is to select the filter for the next week. But again, this doesn't display the dates that I want. The solution is to create a current week checkbox column that is ticked on if the date is this week and unticked if it isn't. To do this, add a new column and call it current week. Set the column type to formula. Edit the formula. And for this to work, you need the database to have a date column. For this example, the date column is called date. And here is the formula you should use. To explain what the formula is doing, it gets the week number the date record falls in and also gets the week number for today. And if the week numbers are the same, then it creates a checked checkbox. And if they're not the same, it creates an unchecked checkbox. And if I scroll down to today's date, I can see that this week is checked. So the next task is to add a filter and select where the current week column is checked. Now you can see that the dates for this week are displayed, but showing dates from Sunday to Saturday and I want it to display the dates where the week starts on a Monday. To fix this, you need to change the current week formula. Edit the formula and use the date subtract command to minus one day from the dates in the formula. This tricks Notion to start in the day of the week one day earlier than the default. And here you can see that the filter now displays the current week starting on a Monday. And this will automatically switch to display the following week when you reach next Monday.